Go, also known as Golang, is a programming language developed by Google in 2007. Go has a strong and growing user base and is used by a number of high-profile companies such as Google, Netflix, and Docker. The reality is that Go is not as popular as other programming languages. So why isn't the programming language created and used by the tech giant Google as widely adopted as some other languages? Let's find out. Go is a relatively new language, which is one of the reasons we'd like to mention. It has only been around for about 15 years. This means it has had far less time to gain traction and build its fan base compared to more established languages. The second reason is related to Go being a statically typed language. This means that variables must be explicitly declared with a specific type. In fact, some developers prefer dynamically typed languages, which can be easier to write but can also be less efficient and more prone to errors. The third reason is related to the tools around Go. Apart from the fact that Go is not as flexible as some other languages, it does not have as many features or libraries available. This can be seen as a drawback by some developers who prefer languages with a more comprehensive standard library and a larger ecosystem of third-party libraries. Don't get me wrong, you'll find thousands of libraries available for Go. But our reasoning is relative and is based on comparing it to other languages. With more than 137,000 libraries, Python is the most popular language in the world according to PYPL Index. The 11th programming language in the same ranking is Go. The fourth and most important reason in our opinion is the market. A programming language like Python was first released in 1991. Others like PHP and JS were released in 1995, while Go was released in 2009. There's a difference of about 15 years between Golang and Python. Imagine the number of projects and companies that used Python during these 15 years. As these systems expand, more Python developers will are needed to maintain and improve them. Knowing that in the market, there's is always a higher demand for programmers to support and develop existing systems rather than create new ones. The consequence is clearly visible. The demand for Python programmers has increased as Python systems continue to grow and require more support. In contrast, there are fewer experts in Go, therefore fewer job opportunities in this field, and as a result, fewer projects. It is also worth noting that Python and JS are constantly being improved and updated. Overall, the majority of the job market involves maintaining legacy systems rather than starting from scratch, and it may take a long time for Go to establish itself in the market. This doesn't mean that job opportunities for Go developers are non-existent, but compared to Python and other popular programming languages, Go has a smaller share of the market. Overall, while Go may not be as popular as its alternatives, it's faster and more efficient than other popular programming languages. It also has a strong and loyal user base and is a powerful language that is well suited to many use cases. This is the end of this episode from the 5 Minutes Golang Show. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and join our Golang community. Just visit fawn.dev slash join. It only takes two seconds to join and it's free. See you next time.